Diddy has just broken his silence regarding the tape with Cassie that was released, admitting he is on the tape and his actions on it were inexcusable. He's also saying he's truly sorry. Yeah, that's not enough for me. I think it's time we get something trending. Hashtag F Diddy. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor and Diddy is done to me. There's no excuse. And you're going to watch this tape in a minute where Diddy's going to try to make some excuses. But the excuses are all more lies. And we can prove it through Diddy's own statements that he's previously made through his reps and his attorneys. This man's only apologizing because he got caught. And this apology is way too late. And we need more than an apology, dude. You need jail time. The fact that you did this so seemingly easily to this woman. What else is true, my man? I, I don't believe you do that once. The way he was in that, vi it is it is disgusting. It is truly despicable. It is evil. And if you can just do that to somebody, chances are you've probably done it to a lot of people, Sean Combs, and your karma is coming. And what's so sick about all this, he's been spinning this forever the past few weeks he's been out there we're gonna get to the video in one second i just want to set the tone because if you go to diddy's page and you go look he's showing his kids and time tells truth and i love my queen and all this these women in his life i just feel so bad i feel so bad for what he's put out there regarding cassie she's blackmailing me she's not telling the truth she's writing trying to write a book and just make money is that why you settled so quick did he we're gonna get to the statements in a second let's watch his most recent attempt to gaslight us all here is his statement coming in directly from him i guess i think this was in bali it's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life sometimes you got to do that i was fucked up i mean i hit rock bottom but I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it, I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy, I had to go into rehab. Had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. I don't know whose idea this was, man. This this doesn't help you at all all this doesn't help you at all you are out there vehemently denying these offensive outrageous allegations for the past six months mrs combs has been subjected to cassie's persistent demand of 30 million dollars under the threat of writing a damaging book about the relationship which was unequivocally rejected as blatant blackmail Despite withdrawing her initial threat, Ms. Ventura has now resorted to filing a lawsuit riddled with baseless and outrageous lies aiming to tarnish Mr. Combs' reputation and seeking a payday. Well, once she got very quickly, my man, didn't she? She got that payday so fast because you've been trying to pay off everybody to avoid this accountability that you've been doing all this work for. Oh, you've been putting in so much work. Well, when did the work start? As Christopher Melcher says very eloquently, because literally... This is your statement from November 2023 through your lawyers. Just so we're clear, a decision to settle a lawsuit, especially in 2023, is in no way an admission of wrongdoing. Mr. Combs' decision to settle the lawsuit does not in any way undermine his flat-out denial of the claims. He is happy they got a mutual settlement and wishes her the best. Diddy had the video for eight years and denied this incident, and now he's expressing remorse. Uh, if he was in therapy in November 2023, then why did he deny doing it the apology is another lie i went and sought professional help i got into therapy i'd ask for god for his mercy i'm so sorry he leaves out that he must have done all that over the weekend <laughs> facts uh this is again dude you're done you are so done and I, i'm shocked he even posted this because i think he's such he's the type of person has been in so much control for so long that he thinks he's just gonna get away with this too he does not understand 
that this evidence is the final nail in this man's coffin. Now, I totally suspect way more worse stuff's happened. Nobody's going to stand up and defend this man now. The way he treated Cassie in that video, it's disgusting. You don't treat any woman like that. You don't treat anybody like that. The fact that you were so easy, it was so easy for you just to do that. And you can blame whatever you were on or whatever. But I now believe everything Cassie's saying. I believe everything she's saying. And of course she's talking to the, to the feds. I hope she is. But the, the sad reality is it's past uh, the time frame. We are aware of the video that has been circulating online depicting, you know, da da da. We find these images as disturbing and difficult to watch. If the, if the conduct depicted in 2016, unfortunately, we'd have been able to charge the conduct would have been beyond our timeline where a crime of this could be prosecuted. As of today, law enforcement has not presented a case related to the attack, the video, but we encourage anyone who has been, a, you know, had this type of behavior with Diddy to report it to law enforcement or reach out to the Bureau of Services. Uh, L.A. County District Attorney's Office. This was from yesterday, uh, or I guess, sorry, uh, Monday, Friday. Um, yeah, look, this this just opens up so many more interesting thoughts because the reality is now he's owned it, which he had to do because it's clearly him in the video. He could have stayed silent and let his lawyers sort of proceed, but this was a poison pill, if you will. Like, you're done, dude. You're done. Who's going to defend someone who does that to a woman? Who can, could? You even know it now. So now you're coming forward, changing your story, and it makes you look even more guilty. You're a scumbag. You're an absolute scumbag. And you've been using your family and your daughter to paint this picture of love. You've been out there trying to spin it all, your new name. I'm now love. Yeah, you only became love when I think you realized the walls were closing in on you. The walls were closing in on you as you're out there exploiting your family and your kids my baby love. I just feel bad, man. Why are you putting your kid in the crosshairs right now during all this? Because you're using her as a shield because you're a monster. And I feel bad for this kid. I truly do. You, you are a deplorable, disgusting monster. And I don't believe you've done the work because if you had, you wouldn't have thrown Cassie on the bus on those statements like you did. And you would have come clean then, but you know, you couldn't because it's just the tip of the iceberg with you. I mean, 50 cent, this is not going to work. Who is advising him right now? Bad move. I mean, look, he thinks he's untouchable. He thinks he's untouchable. But no, the reaction online is not going to happen. These are things manipulators do and say, uh, Combs, did he talking about reflecting on the darkest times? Meanwhile, the darkest times lasted decades. Shut up. Uh, yeah, who's, no one's buying this. Dr. Shola tweeted that Combs deserves to be in prison for his actions. Forgiveness is not substitute for accountability. Any apologies should be to Cassie and every woman Sean Combs did this to. This apology stinks of appeasing the public, not the women he hurt. It's complete BS. Uh, small crowd offering forgiveness. Because again, he's using use God. And I, I, I can't, I, look, I'm not here to judge anyone's religion, but you do not get to use God in a situation like this to now right all your wrongs and just move on like nothing happened. And I'm sorry, anybody who's forgiving him, only God can judge us. Stay blessed. That is such a negative for religion. What about Cassie? Like, I, I, I get it. So you want to go, if he's going to actually do the work, you want to sort of offer it. But my goodness, maybe Diddy's apology is sincere. Only God knows Hope he apologized to Cassie. I, I Look, it sickens me. And if you're someone who's really rooted in God and religion, it should sicken you too. This man's using it. I don't believe for a second he's found God and forgiveness. This man lied a couple months ago to say she's a liar and a blackmailer. And clearly she wasn't. He allegedly bought this tape for $50,000. And the Intercontinental Hotel, which is no longer around, thank goodness, good riddance, uh, apparently allowed him. Saw the tape, knew what was going on, and let him buy it. And just, there it is. It's, it's, it is shocking. It is sad. It is scary. And now we know this man's a monster. And now there's no, is he in the video? Is he? Yeah. He's just admitted it. He's just admitted it. And I'm glad he has. And I, and I hope there are methods to pursue this. And I, and we will talk to Christopher Melcher and other experts this week. Please tune in tomorrow. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for alerts. What can still be done? What does this mean? Who leaked it? We had so much more to, un to uncover regarding this tape because this tape is the final shot. He is done. He can go apologize and lean on God and do whatever he wants to try to do to spin this, but that tape is never leaving anybody's mind. You are caught. We all suspected it. We were waiting for your evidence. You provided none. 
And now evidence is coming in. And I, I imagine there are so many more tapes that are going to either be unearthed or used to pressure him to finally own it. I, this is going to not be over anytime soon. There's not a chance. What do you guys think? Are you surprised? Do you accept his apology? Do you believe only God forgives? I want. Does that annoy you too, that he's going to try to use God as a scapegoat to get out of here? I want to hear your thoughts down below. Let us know what you think. we got so much more coming. So glad I'm back in studio. We're just getting started.